Ooh, that's a nice mug. I know this was especially <laughs> made for me with oh. as per my uh, requisites, which is big handle, thin rim, very big. Mm -hmm. Nice. <laughs> I love it. I covet it. <laughs> I know a friend of my daughter's. I don't like drinking out of cups with a big thick. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. So I love it. <laughs> nice. It's beautiful. Maybe I'll have to find out who made it and see if I can get yeah, it. Yeah. She's a young woman, a friend of my daughter's who's a potter. And um, she said it was the thinnest rim she ever mm -hmm. made. <laughs> Well, send me her, her email. And we'll see oh, what yeah, I will. I will. Who knows? Um, I wanted to hear again how you learned the song and what right. you learned from the sharer, just so that there's context as people sure, are absolutely. listening and yeah. hopefully learning it. Yeah. So I originally learned the song from Issei Barnwell, who has been my most important teacher. And um, I learned it many years ago from her. Um, and she shared that it was from the Vodou tradition um, and shared that um, you know, like like many of the religions that came with the slave trade from Africa, uh, they syncretized, combined with, so in Haiti you have Vodou, which is a combination of, of Yoruba traditions with indigenous and French Catholic, and they all kind of, so in Cuba you have Santeria, and in um, Brazil you have Canemle. Mm. And so the base has was always this, you know, the Yoruba traditions of ceremony and stuff, but then they they morphed. Right. And so um, so I learned it many years ago from from Issei and she explained where it was from. And then I had the pleasure of going. I've gone several times to to Haiti and I've studied with a voodoo priest and master drummer there whose name is Dudu. And um, and so I, you know, I learned lots of songs from him in Haitian Creole, and but I sang this song. I, you know, I, I had learned other songs in the meantime from different people that were supposedly from the Haitian tradition, from the Vodou tradition. So I ran those songs by him, and it was one of the greatest um, moments, mm -hmm. really, of my life because I love to collect songs from different traditions and to kind of pass them through my body mm -hmm. and share them. Yeah. I think it's really important that we share traditions and we understand each other better through those traditions. Um, but so I, I got to sing, you know, to him directly this song and some others. And he and he said, yes, yes, this is this is a song that is, you know, was from the French Catholic tradition originally, but had been incorporated into Vodou ceremony and is an invocation. It's usually sung at the beginning of a ceremony to invite God to come in. Awesome. Um, so, you know, the lyrics are, you know, come my God, come to me, come to the center of my heart. Mm -hmm. And so it was, it, you know, it was really um, a beautiful circular loop yeah. of, you know, learning this song from Issei and then getting validation from someone who's steeped and is doing the tradition, right. you know, daily. Um, and yeah, so it was just a beautiful thing. Yeah, I can almost imagine Issei's voice and yours and then Dudu's and, you know, like you guys right. doing the, <laughs> the round. Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, and and yeah, it's really deep mm -hmm. um, and Passing feels really, yeah. yeah, really important to uh, kind of get permission and, um, and to, uh, you know, I feel like he could see my heart. Mm -hmm. You know, obviously, I'm a white woman. I'm not from the Vodou tradition. I'm not from the African American tradition, but I, you know, I come to it with a full and open heart, and it it, it means so much to me to um, be embraced yeah. um, and to and to kind of have permission. And I'm sure that that goes both ways. That's a reciprocal joy to share. Yes. 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 Uh, yes. It's. Um, and you know, so, I'm sure for for Dudu to have me appear in his uh, little village, and you know, off of the coast of Haiti, and on Ilavash, which is a little island off of the Haitian main island, mm -hmm. um, and you know, appear singing these songs. A cow island. It's, yes, Ilavash, <laughs> the island of the cows. Yeah, there's my my French. There it is. That's there you all. go. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, so mm -hmm. that was. It's really special to feel oh. that to feel that because that's my thing is like to 
you know, how can we, we can really establish deep connection across difference. Yeah. Um, Apparent difference. <laughs> yes, exactly. Well, we're all humans, like, you know. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. To come Much more to commonality. Yes. Yes. And you know what I was thinking as you're speaking, Roberta, if you're op up, open to it, I would love to learn uh, a song that you've picked up from the Cuban tradition and one from the Brazilian tradition. And maybe we can share yeah. those forward as well. Yeah. 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 No, absolutely. Sweet. Well, yeah. I appreciate you. Yeah. Again, I've, I mean, I've been, I haven't been to Brazil, but I've studied, I was supposed to go to Brazil right before the pandemic hit and then, you know, I had to cancel, but I've studied with people now on Zoom who are, you know, steeped in the Condomble tradition and also have been to Cuba. Yeah. And, you know, um, and so I've, again, kind of passed these songs that I've learned other places through the people who actually practice them. Right. So that I can know that they are indeed, you know, correct to the extent they could be. Right. And then also having the respect to receive the permission to continue to share them. Exactly. And I, I appreciate that that's part of your work. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. So Well, I'm gonna let you get ready for Michigan. Okay. Yeah, no, I'm going, I'm now going to, and this is interesting for me, because I've never really thought that my audience would be or, you know, that I would work with people from, this is a senior day center. And so there's, it's called the supportive day program. Mm -hmm. And it's older people who have some issues with dementia, you know, and they're in varying levels. And then other people who have other issues that, you know, they're Down's syndrome, they have other things. Mm -hmm. And um, so I've been, uh, I started on Zoom sharing with songs with them, with my looper. Mm -hmm. um, and then we progressed to, I was in my living room, you know, sitting where I am in front of my piano and they were at the place. Right. So they'd see me on a big screen and now I'm actually in person with them. Nice. And, you know, it's interesting to try to figure out, okay, what are the songs? Because I don't do songs that people know necessarily, you know, I mean, sometimes I do this little light of mine or, you know, and, and those are really well, welcome, but I also want to share you know, new songs from different right. traditions. And, um, and it's, you know, it's working. It's, um, it's, it's different. And are you using your looper in person too? I am. I'm using my looper in person. <laughs> yeah. Uh, Which is fun because then for them, they get, they can, you know, even if they're not singing, they can experience mm -hmm. parts and, um, yeah. you know, but I, you know, I want to keep it as simple as I can so that they can really participate. And right. so, some of them can, and some of them just listen. Yeah, or see. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. totally. So yeah, so that's where I'm on my way to. Wonderful. Now. Well, <laughs> my greetings in yes. harmony to everyone, and thank I you. Know, and I know, you know, I do hope that someday you can come and visit on the vineyard. That it. Would I be expect as so much. I, it's going to be so fun to sing in person together. That's I know, I know, ah, exactly, exactly. Yes. I know. I, I was, you know, Heather Pearson. I don't. She's a wonderful, um, incredibly talented jazz pianist, but also does mm -hmm. song leading the way you know we do. Um, so check her out, Heather Pearson. Will do. Um, and she, I went, I met her at a gathering, a singing gathering, and then you know we went into lockdown, but we've become more friends. I mean, in the way that we've become right. more friends, right? Since, and I went to visit her in New Hampshire. I went to visit a friend that was close by, and we met and went for a walk. And then we sang a couple of songs together. It was just like, yeah. you know, yes. so wonderful to be able to be together. Yeah. Um, so, yeah. I look forward to it too. Yeah. Yeah. Well, you keep singing where you are in the meantime, and I'll I, keep singing where I am. I know. I know. <laughs> and, yeah. And I'm really, yeah, I'm working on my, my big vision. Oh, yeah. Um, I look forward to that conversation yeah. too. Yeah, yeah. 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 So good. All right. Well, thank you. And I look forward to seeing the video. I will share it very soon. Thanks. Okay. For I appreciate All right. you. Thank you. All right. Bye. I appreciate you. Thanks, Liam. Thank you.